Hello guys, welcome back. My name is Andrei. Uh, in this video, I'll talk about LLM pipelines, pipelines running uh, on top of Sparrow. So, you know, uh, uh, LLM field emerging very fast, very quickly. Uh, there are different toolkits and frameworks uh, and all of them are being enhanced, enhanced um, quickly uh, with new functionalities and so on. So I thought <clears throat> it would be good idea to implement a sort of a plugin support inside Sparrow and using uh, abstract uh, Python class and uh, <coughs> provide option to uh, plug into the Sparrow uh, different implementations. For example, running a pipeline using uh, Llama index or running a pipeline using um, Haystack or any other technology. And the idea is that the interface uh, class should be standard. It should accept uh, a predefined set of parameters and the API should be uh, the same, no matter what technology, what pipeline you're using. And then you should be able to pass the flag, to say you want to run a Llama index pipeline and then uh, completely independent script which uh, implements the Slama index pipeline would execute and provide the, the uh, response. If you want to execute a haystack logic or anything else, then you provide the name of the plugin and uh, the pipeline would execute based on that logic. So first of all, I'll show uh, example how it runs and then uh, I'll briefly explain uh, the code implementation. So for any one of you who are using um, or looking to use Sparrow, you could uh, see uh, how you could uh, uh, create your own plugin and uh, integrate it into Sparrow in, in a few very simple steps. Okay, so first of all, let's see. Uh, in just step, so I created uh, two plugins first for the haystack, second one for the uh, llama index. So, and this is for, this is how I invoke pipeline in just pipeline, for example, and I specify llama index flag. And by default, if I don't specify anything, in uh, by default, llama index um, uh, pipeline would execute. Okay, so now it runs, uh, creates embedding for the sample documents uh, and generates the llama index uh, and stores uh, everything, in this case, in VAV8 vector database. It's done. Now the second example, uh, also using Sparrow ingest, but now passing flag haystack. And in this case, uh, the base uh, interface class would be the same, but since the parameter is different, then the pipeline related to haystack will be executed, like we saw in this case. And this is for the ingest, and similar similar architecture is being used for the inference. So we pass, for example, a question to retrieve invoice number of type int using uh, llama index uh, uh, pipeline. So in this case, now what would happen is that uh, Llama index pipeline would execute, say it's running pipeline with Llama index, connecting to VAV8, loading Llama, loading embedding model, building index, and constructing query engine. And then we made a call to uh, another machine where Llama is running and uh, uh, it will execute the request for the LLM and try to get the answer for this, uh, for this document. Uh, for the invoice number to uh, be to, to to return invoice number, so we got back the response. So this is the invoice number from sample document, and now uh, another example of using Sparrow SH and we're using Haystack pipeline, and uh, we don't pass any parameters because this Haystack pipeline doesn't work with the document. It actually uh, works with some uh, static uh, sentence and from the sentence it tries to extract structured output. It's just a sample sample run, in a sample pipeline in this case, which will enhance also, to will try to enhance and also uh, implement haystack pipeline to process PDF document, the same like the one with the llama index. So this would be a nice uh, uh, startup uh, pack or let's say startup uh, set of plugins that we should demonstrate how Sparrow works uh, with Llama index and with Haystack, for example. So now we see running uh, pipeline with Haystack and yeah, well, trans uh, we can look into the requirements file and here we can see that. Uh, 
uh, inside the Sparrow, uh, Llama Index is installed, um, Haystack is installed, other stuff. So the idea is that whatever technologies you want to use, you need to install them. If you are deploying a Sparrow and to production and you know that you actually don't need a uh, certain technology like uh, Haystack, for example, so then you just uh, comment out, for example, this Haystack um, uh, entry from the requirements file, and then you just never call uh, instance of uh, Haystack pipeline, and you're good to go. Okay, with Haystack pipeline here, we're making three attempts to uh, get structured output, structured JSON from uh, from from the uh, string, and it seems here it was uh, almost correct for some reason. Uh, Haystack said that uh, validation failed here. I think it tried uh, trying the third time, and let's see if it would work from the third time. Okay, and yeah, in the meantime, while it runs, let me start uh, local uh, instance of the fast API. Okay, let's see how many times it executed. Two and. Oh, I think it runs the third time, it also was not successful in this case, but it doesn't matter because in this case, uh, my point is just to show how you can run multiple pipelines, right? So now we started a uh, fast API uh, endpoint and we can uh, execute the same plugins uh, through API, not only from command line, from an API as well. So we pass this extra parameter now called plugin and we pass the, the name. Uh, Lama index in this case. Now we execute it, and now a request should come here. It prints in into fast API application. It says that we are running Lama index again, loading model, building index, and then as soon it's as soon as the request is being processed, then we'll get back the response here. Okay, so uh, with requirements, it's uh, clear that we install all. Uh, if you want to test all pipelines, obviously, and here is the example. Uh, actual implementation of the engine. This is the main entry uh, point which acts as a single interface. And here uh, we have the run function and we process the uh, inputs and then we execute, we get the pipeline based on username and from the pipeline, uh, from that uh, pipeline we execute run pipeline. And this is the signature method which is identical no matter what uh, uh, plugin you're executing. Uh, any plugin should implement this uh, method so that it, it uh, would be callable from, from the engine. And here we got back the results and it was also uh, available here in the log. Okay, so uh, as I said that we have the engine and then we get the pipeline and the get pipeline comes from uh, plugins interface. So that's from this class. And here we have the abstract interface with the certain set of parameters. And then there's a factory method to get pipeline. And here we check which parameter, uh, what value for the uh, plugin name parameter is sent. If it's Llama index, haystack. If you want to build additional plugins, then you just add uh, additional entries here. And if it's, uh, let's say, haystack, we import haystack pipeline implementation and return the instance of this, uh, of the class of haystack pipeline and then it will be automatically called through run pipeline method. So this is the, let, let's look into the example of uh, run pipeline implementation in specific, uh, let's say, Llama index plugin here. We had, so we have run pipeline with all the parameters and then all the logic goes specific to Llama index. If you look into the haystack, the same thing, we have haystack pipeline that gets pipeline interface in this case because uh, the word pipeline uh, is the same, is being used in haystack. So I said that my pipeline as pipeline interface in this case and uh, running pipeline here and we have all the uh, specific implementation for this haystack solution, uh, which goes into this into the same method uh, run pipeline. Okay, so uh, as to summarize, uh, the most important uh, thing, uh, if you want to build your own plugin with Sparrow, then you need to go to the interface and uh, uh, you need to add additional uh, to handle your additional 
pipeline inside the git pipeline method and you need to import that uh, pipeline and basically uh, then you can execute it from the command line on through api by passing a specific pipeline name so the same thing this thing is implemented for rack and the same thing for the ingest uh, identical architecture is being implemented for ingest so either ingest or rack you can use different technologies to implement uh, this kind of logic so thanks for watching and uh, see you next time bye